All right, Pops, you know what I was thinking? Yeah. Do you want to show everybody <gasps> your room? You want to go give them a tour? Show them where your room is. Say, yeah. Come on. All right, show them everything that's yeah, in there. Yeah, tell them everything that you have. Okay, so where is your bed? Here. That's where you, re okay, that's where you sleep? Yeah. What's Where's the your... rule about the bed? Do we have any rules? Yeah. What's the rule? If you sleep, you must close the eyes. That's right. Do you, where do you read books in here? Where's your chair? <gasps> Ooh la la. I love that chair. Do you snuggle up in there every night? Yeah. One of the things that was really important to us when we were creating this nursery for Poppy, I guess, I guess now it's her big girl room, is the idea of it all being things that are really important. All this art has been given by friends of ours, either to her or to us. Um, it's a real reflection of things that we've collected for her, that we've collected over time. You know, we wanted a room that felt sophisticated, but still kind of playful. She got to pick a pink girl bed. Um, now she's in a big girl bed, which is so sad. Yeah, which Jerry like couldn't stop crying about the day that we put it in. But, cry about um, it now. Yeah, right. So the nursery is actually really pretty because we have old pieces that we put new fabric on that we found from our travels. Um, she has a beautiful old Swedish chest of drawers, a mirror that we spray painted her favorite color, obviously pink, um, and gray and white wallpaper um, that she had in her nursery in New York City. So it's kind of like us as designers and as dads starting a collection of things that she can have. And I imagine some of this furniture in her first apartment someday, which I'm sure makes you feel really great. She's never moving out, so the point <laughs> where she's going to take her furniture to. She's going to live here forever.